Today we are taking you to a car show where the lots are filled with the timeless beauty and innovation of Ford vehicles from across the decades. Buckle up and let's get this Love Nesters adventure started. Hey, welcome back to Love Nesters. We are in Brookfield, Wisconsin at the All Ford Automobile Show. This is a fabulous car show and a great way to spend an afternoon. Mustangs, T-Birds, Galaxies, you name it, it's here. What a great place. This is actually one of the oldest all Ford car shows in the United States. It's great to be here. Lots of great people, lots of great stories behind these cars. Can't wait to share it with all of you. Thanks for being here. Getting to a car show early is so much fun because you get to see the cars drive up and you get to talk to the owners while they're prepping for the shows. when I was 16 and uh, my girlfriend at the time, my first date, my first girl, and my first car is still my wife today. I love that. That's so, all I can tell you. That's probably more important to the car. It is. It is. So did you hunt it down? Like we were you, did. you did. We did. We were just yakking one day and said, you know, it really needs to be nice to have one of those back again. So we hunted this thing down. I was putting slips in, in cars saying, hey, we're looking for, and all that kind of stuff. And I stumbled into this guy that had one, and he was at the show here, which was where it all started. I love Chased that. Chased it down and got it from there. I love that. Wow, this guy has a neat display here. The original instruction book and some of the tools. Every brand new Model A came with that tool kit. I love it. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's a 1929 Model A uh, Tudor sedan. And it's actually a Canadian built Model A. Uh, I'm the second owner of this car. Um, I restored the car from ground up. Oh my gosh, really? Every nut and bolt, I took everything completely apart and redid everything. Is this what it everything. looked like? That's the, this is how it was? This was how it was the first day I got it. Oh my gosh. I was painted it green with house paint. It probably saved the body on it. My first time. What is this, a Model? Night, Model A, 1929. Oh my gosh. I do know how to drive a stick, but I don't think I could get this, this to You would have there. to double clutch this one. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah, you could. My <laughs> wife drives this all the time. Oh, it's so comfortable, too. Yeah. Did you redo all the upholstery? Everything. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful car. Thank you. So is this a rich, uh, you could you uh, purchase this car with this color? Here's the original color, never touch it. This is burnt amber, and the lady that, you know, her, the, my buddy bought it from his wife, is an ember glow, that's how close they are, 66, 67 color. Wow, so this is, it's actually 66 color.
So this car is actually painted a Mary Kay pink. This guy says he gets lots of compliments from the ladies, and so he keeps the car that color just because they like it. And it works. It works. For some reason, I'm always drawn to the Mercury Cougar. So if you own a Mercury Cougar, make a comment. Let me know what it's for sale for. I thought this uh, gentleman had such an interesting story. He's had this car since he was 12 years old, and he restored it with his father. What a great story. What a great memory. I wonder how many kids are doing that these days. I like it when there's all original interior. Nineteen sixty five Ford Mustang. Of course, once again, the wonderful pony car. Who doesn't like a Ford Mustang? Boy, some people do such a creative job displaying their cars. Look at how clean this engine is. Hi, my name is Bob Dirks, and I'm the owner of this uh, Star Miss Blue 1957 Ford Thunderbird that I bought in 1957 at the age of 19. Oh my gosh. I have owned this car for 65 years, and um, it was a daily driver for the first 14 years of my ownership. So it saw all the Wisconsin winters. I used to tow a boat up to Eagle River with it and go fishing and water skiing. I had it at Fort Carson, Colorado in uh, 1961 when I was stationed in the Army. Then in 1971, I stored it away for 24 years. Brought it out in 1995 
and proceeded to do a body off restoration that took about four years and forty eight thousand dollars i've been showing it now for 22 years i turned 85 years old this uh march and i'm still enjoying my t-bird i weigh the same now as i did when i bought this car oh my gosh well you gotta stay small because these cars aren't made for bigger people so it's motivated me to keep trim and slim. I like that, a new diet plan. So a diet plan, get a collector car. I love it, thanks for sharing that with us. Okay, nice talking to you, thank you. Hey, we're at the Ford only auto show in Brookfield, Wisconsin at Soren's Ford. It's a great activity to do with your spouse. We try to provide new adventure ideas every week. If you're enjoying our videos, we'd sure appreciate it if you'd give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for being here. All Ford Car Show in Brookfield, Wisconsin at the Sorens Ford. Fun fact, Suzanne Summers was the actress from Three's Company, of course, but she was also the actress in American Graffiti, so I'm sure a lot of people remember her waving to Richard Dreyfuss in the movie American Graffiti, and this owner highlights that in this car. actually had a Ford Bronco at one point. Boy, if you are a fan of the Mustang, they got you covered here. This is a 2007 Mustang GT Convertible. Sadly, the woman that owned this car recently passed away, but she was a fan of Scooby-Doo. I just love how they style these. Look at the detail on the seats. Wow. Seventy-three was the last year of the first generation Mustang and the last convertible for almost a decade.
I just love the story of this car. It's a female-owned car. Actually, her husband had found it in a barn, purchased two vehicles, planned to restore it, use one as parts. Unfortunately, he passed away before he was able to do that, and she made a promise to him that she would see that restoration complete. There was a friend of theirs that restored it. It took three years to do that restoration. During that time, he had a major accident, and part of his therapy was to work on this car. She was kind enough to show us how the roof retracted. I just love how it goes down over that cooler. And of course, the color of this car is known as Indian Turquoise. Hey, welcome back to Love Nesters. We are at the Ford Auto Show in Brookfield, Wisconsin, one of the oldest auto Ford only auto shows in America. Well, I'm so glad we came. Lots of interesting people, lots of interesting cars, lots of great stories. Thanks for being here. 